I think it's really important to recognise the work that teachers do and the quality against the standards rather than the quantity of years that they've been teaching. There was work I was doing across the school. I had a look at the HAT standards initially and when I went to the information evening, the presenters identified that the lead descriptors worked across the school and I thought, well, if there's ever an opportunity I'm going to do it, I might as well do it now. As we went through the certification, the whole other world <laughs> opened up. As part of my portfolio to be able to apply for a lead teacher, we had to include documentation about our lead initiative. The lead initiative had to give an overarching wrap up of the whole project, where it started, what impacts it had, had to link it to the school's AIP, it had to be linked to my APDP. It couldn't just be that I was working or supporting with these colleagues, it had to be across the entire school and not just in one factor like literacy, it had to be changing systems and frameworks and pedagogy in the school. What I was doing in that role, in that project, was also impacting outside of my school. Teachers from other schools were using and applying some of those strategies I was doing at professional development as part of that lead initiative. You can't do a lead initiative in six months. If you are looking to do it with integrity and you want that rich quality evidence, you're looking across at something a year, two years, three years. Certification has changed my world. <laughs> It is such a rewarding experience. I've been recognised for the quality of my teaching and learning and my practices and collegiality.